I've insulated my garage door with these foam panels. It works great, but it is super ugly. I had to cut the foam panels down the center of them so that I could get them to fit into the garage door. I also, for some reason, faced some of them out with the white side and some of them out with the silver side, which was a mistake. I tried taping them, I tried taping the seams, it, they just look bad. So I've designed some plastic clips and made Ooh. them on a 3D printer that'll let me install these panels in without having to cut them down the middle and I'll paint them and they'll all be installed with the same side facing out and they're gonna look really good. I'm gonna take this out, save it in my basement for three or four years and then uh, throw it away. So, that'll be fun. So I have a seven foot tall by 16 foot wide door um, and adding this insulation to it adds about 30 pounds. So if you plan on taking this job on yourself, keep in mind that you might need a heavier duty spring to balance the door. Replacing garage door springs can be dangerous because there's a lot of potential energy there. So if you do decide to do that, be careful and make sure you're comfortable with the work that you're doing. I'll be replacing mine, perhaps in a future video, or maybe not, we'll see. So I'm just gonna weigh the door without the foam just so that I know. I think I'm gonna need a bulkier spring. 157. So I'm gonna measure each of these panels because as I recall, they're all a little bit different. Um, so this one is 45 and an eighth by 18 and an eighth. So I'm gonna cut this one at 45 by 18 and a half because I want it to slip up underneath this because my clips don't fit on this one. They only fit down here on these, which will cover about 90% of what I need, but this, this ledge is a little bit different, so I'm just gonna cut it to slip up underneath there. That's what the extra half an inch is for. So I'm gonna measure the rest of these and have a cut list. I took about an eighth of an inch off of all of these dimensions so that the foam would fit in really easily. I didn't wanna to have to fight it or make it too tight. My garage door is too heavy to lift because I don't have the spring attached. So I'm bringing them into the man door. I built this track that I'm using to cut these pieces. Uh, it's working really well. I have a video of it if you want to check that out. Uh, it works really well. Uh, one thing I will say is I used double stick tape to put it all together and it was kind of coming apart by the end of this project. So I think I'm going to go back and glue that. But if you watch that video, um, just know that you should probably use some glue or something a little bit tougher than double stick tape for this. I'm gonna paint it now. I hope it makes it look better and not worse. This looks a thousand times better. I'm super happy with how it worked out. The clips work great. I think the painting looks really good. 
This being painted will make a much better background for future YouTube videos than that reflective stuff would. I have a 3D model of these clips on my Etsy page, so if you feel like these might be helpful to you, you can take a look at those. I think I have them listed for a buck. It helps support me and hopefully it'll help you solve your garage insulation problems. I also want to quickly say thank you to everybody who has subscribed so far. We're a very small community, but I'll tell you, I get a very real shot of dopamine from each one of your subscriptions. So thank you for coming around. I hope I can continue to make content that you enjoy and find useful. To those of you who aren't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. It goes a long way to support me and encourage me to keep on making these videos. Either way, thanks for watching and have a good day.